hey guys welcome back to next gen block uh, and in this video i want to show you how you can create animation using images in vstc free video editor now it's actually super easy to create animation using images in vstc so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now to demonstrate this tutorial I've created 300 images and I will be using all these images to create my animation. Now the first thing which you need to properly decide is the frame rate of your project. So frame rate of your project will directly impact the number of images which you will require to create your animation. So let's say in this particular case, in the case of this tutorial, I've decided the frame rate of my project to be 30 frames per second which means I need 300 images to create a 10 second animation and this is what we are going to do in this tutorial but if you decide the frame rate of your project to be 10 frames per second it will mean that you will require 100 images to create a 10 second animation so as you can see frame rate of your project directly impacts the number of images which you will require to create your animation so that's the reason you need to properly decide what the frame rate of your project you want it to be so having cleared this let's just now click on blank project and let me just write the project title as how to create animation using images in VSDC. Resolution is 1920 by 1080 so that's fine. Frame rate is 30 frames per second which is what I want. So now let me just click on the finish button. All right. Now what you need to do is you need to go to add object and select animation and now click on OK. Now currently the duration of my animation object is 5 seconds. So as I said earlier I have 300 images with me which means I am creating a 10 second animation. So should I increase the duration of my animation object to 10 seconds? well the animation object will increase its duration automatically after i add the images so let me show it to you so currently the duration of my animation object is five seconds so if you look inside the properties window right at the bottom you will find this edit animation object button so click on this button and the moment you click on this button this animation object dialog will open up now as you can see right here the duration is 5 seconds and if you look inside the properties window frame rate is set to 30 frames per second so this is because I have set the frame rate of my project at 30 frames per second and that's the reason inside the animation object the frame rate is set to 30 frames per second now what you need to do is you need to click on this particular option which is add images so click on this option And now select your images so let me just select all my 300 images by pressing ctrl a and now let me just click on the open button so we need to wait for couple of seconds for the images to load inside the animation object and now as you can see all my 300 images has been successfully added inside the animation object and the duration of my animation has increased from 5 seconds to 10 seconds as you can see right here so the animation object automatically increases the duration of the animation based on the number of images and the frame rate of your project or the frame rate of your animation object now click on the ok button you will see this pop-up which says duration of source file has been changed do you want to change duration of your of your video object so 
click on yes and that's it and so now if i just quickly play the animation for you so this is actually not a video this animation is not a video it is looking like a video but it is an animation created using images so images are playing one after the other all my 300 images are playing one after the other and it is looking like a video so let me just show the output to you in the preview window as well so let me lower my resolution and now let me just show you the output in the preview window as well so this is how you can create animation using images in vstc free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching